What's up my friends, welcome back! I think it's time to finish our radio control badass tank project. We have seen how to build our joystick transmitter, build the tank and the H bridge. Now it's time to build our receiver and put everything together. Just as in the transmitter case, we will use Arduino. You could use any Arduino that you want. To receive the signal, we will use the same NRF24 module. The connections are the same as in the transmitter part. Remember to add a 3.3 voltage regulator to supply the radio module. 3.3 volts from the Arduino might not work due to the low amount of current output. Also remember that all the schematics are in a link below. So we connect the NRF24 module as shown in this schematic. Now we can start receiving data. We will use 4 PWM outputs to control the two DC motors. A pulse width modulation or PWM gives us the power to control both speed and direction of the rotation of the wheels. So I'll connect pin 3, 5, 6 and 10 to the H bridge. Because I want to use digital pin 10 as a PWM output, I will have to change the CSN pin of the radio module from 10 to 8. We will see that in a moment. You could use the H bridge that we created in a previous video or just buy a new one like this one here. So finally, this is the connection for the H bridge. We also connect each DC motor to one of the H bridge outputs and we are done. In future videos, we will see how to add some extra controls to our tank, as servos, lights or sounds. Now let's take a look at the code. First import the required libraries. If you don't have the NRF library, just download the zip file from a link below. To install it, just go to sketch, include library and add zip library and you are done. As in the transmitter code, we give a pipe in unique code. This code has to be the same in both transmitter and receiver. Here we've changed the CSN pin from 10 to 8. We create our structure and 4 bytes, one for each received channel. Here we give the start values of each byte. You can see that the throttle starts at the value 0. That's because I've used this code for a 3D printed drone. As you know, the normal position of the throttle joystick is 0. The other three potentiometers are in the middle position. The maximum analog output of the PWM signal is 255, so the middle value of that is 127. We define our pins as output and call the reset function defined above. We start the radio communication and set the speed. This function here will set the bytes to the start values if the connection is lost for more than a second. You could delete this function in the radio control tank tutorial. This is just in case for a drone, where the best security way when the signal is lost is to set the throttle to zero and the drone falls to the ground. That is better than flying away without control. Here we make our PWM signal. I'll use just the right joystick. I'll use just two channels, pitch and roll in this case. We have to compare the received values in order to decide if we spin the right or the left tracks and if we go forward or backward. You could always play with these values in order to better control your radio control device. This tutorial example works with drones, planes, cars and all kinds of electronic control toys. Our tutorial series ends here. There will be more updates of the badass tank in the future. Till then you could improve your code and use it for other radio control machines. As you could see I've used just two channels of the radio controller. You could always add more channels, add buttons, potentiometers or switches to your controller in order to control more things. Stay tuned for more updates. I hope you liked this video. Please check the description and my webpage for more details. Also subscribe to my channel and motivate me for more videos like this one. Thanks again and see you later guys.